as the government sacks one of its own members, Paul Bristow, for calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Here it is in five minutes, the Jacob Rees-Mogg show. We'll be asking if the consensus is breaking down. Meanwhile, a mosque chairman who praised the Hamas founder has been advising the Crown Prosecution Service on hate crimes. You get the idea, stoking the same claptrap divisions about immigrations and now how multiculturalism's not working. The Telegraph has reported that internal Home Office documents suggest foreign worker visas are set to double over the next five years. Why are we not taking back control? And we're always told that the younger generation is intent on solving the so-called climate crisis. But a new oh yes, of course, something about climate change. More for the environment than anyone else. A coup has taken place in Norway. Not a military, political or revolutionary coup, but a coup relating to cheese. Oh dear, let's speed this on, shall we? Who's on the show? The, panel this evening, the editor of Conservative Home and former Tory MP Paul Goodman and the former advisor to Jeremy Corbyn, James Schneider. MI5 is institutionally, publicly racist. Where do you think he's going to go with this? It discriminates against 92.6% of my constituents in North East Somerset. If you're poor, if you've been failed by the education system, if, as with James Bond, you're an orphan, don't apply to MI5. It won't have you as an intern if you're white. OK, you get the idea. Now let's move along. The British public sector has been overrun with institutional racism, undoing all of the progress we have made with Britain's race relations over the past half century, and you pay for it. And why does this matter? Well, it matters because it's unfair to the least well off. Oh, of course, rent a gob Toby Young's on the show. Oh, my electors. It's shocking. Um... But this kind of thing is happening all over the public sector. Another view, please. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Could you explain the background to the law in this and what the law is trying to achieve? Yes, I have to say I disagree with both of you very strongly. And another comment from Toby. Is they're sowing the seeds of racial resentment. OK, enough of that. Welcome back. I'm still Jacob Rees-Mogg and this is still State of the Nation. And you've been getting in touch with your thoughts. Kathleen, in light of your revelations about MI5, can white people refuse to pay their taxes? Time for a panel discussion. And this, along with many other instances of extremism we've seen on Britain's streets recently, poses questions of whether there are extremist sleepers amongst us. This guy's a lefty. Uh, anyone can see that you don't respond to the unjustifiable killing of one group of children by killing many, many more children on the other side. It doesn't make any sense. And this guy's a Tory. Which is that no one can impose a ceasefire on Hamas, which is the side of the equation that's not discussed. A little bit of controversy. A thoroughly decent and upstanding person. Except he backs a terrorist organisation. Well, no, he doesn't back a terrorist. I really would. OK, but he said things in that, in, in no, no, sympathetic no, 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 to no, them. J Jacob, I think you should probably retract that. OK, I'll retract that. You, don't, you don't know and you don't want to libel the man. Well, I certainly don't want to libel I certainly don't okay, want to libel but, him. But, but, Back to the Tory guy. I think you've got to ask some very serious questions about where Hamas are now. OK, let's have something about foreign worker visas, shall we? Uh, yesterday, the Telegraph reported that foreign worker visas are set to double over the next five years for skilled jobs in occupations in which there are labour shortages. Actually, you probably didn't know it, but the Tories are just big softies. ...office that's going to get it up to half a million. This is ridiculous, isn't it? It's amateur well, hour. Extremist, populist, reactionary, these are all words thrown at Conservative government since 2010, but actually... The great unwritten secret of this government is it's running probably the most liberal immigration policy in recent years. A bit more controversy. The Labour Party, who I imagine, judging by their current statements, would carry on a pretty similar policy to the to the to to your government. Which... Welcome back. I continue to identify as Jacob Rees-Mogg. Now, how about something on climate change? Do as I say, not as I do. The prerogative of the hypocrite through the ages. Research by the Times reveals that the supposed young activists are doing less to reduce their carbon footprint than older Britons. It's always good to have a climate activist who exposes the true working of the media ecosphere. Classic GB News culture war framing here, to be honest, Jacob, because like what you're doing is sort of um, playing the young against the old. And while we're busy sort of talking with each other and getting distracted, that shows that we're not paying attention to this government that's gone ahead with licensing over 100 new fossil fuel projects, licensed Rosebank that's going to be emitting the, the emissions of 28 whole countries. Hmm. And I was trying to figure out why it is that there's so much money coming into GB News, you know, considering all the scandals, like all the sort of um, sexual misconduct that seems to be being undertaken by your presenters. 
And finally, something about cheese. Facts, I, facts. We're now, I'm glad to say, on to cheese. So, we're going on to why is a rotten cheese like a strong man? To which the answer is, because it's mighty. Click here for Jacob being booed.